one of my favorite breathwork practices, which is known as heart math. It's about developing heart coherence. In studies with up to 11 and a half thousand people over a six to nine week period, they saw a 46% decrease in levels of anxiety, 51% decrease in levels of depression, uh, and I believe it was a 26% level of decrease in fatigue. The science is speaking. This isn't woo-woo. This is studied now. And I see day in, day out with clients when they're supported to come into coherence of their their heart and their brain, magic happens. If the brain is incoherent, you're incoherent. If the brain is out of sync, your life will be out of sync. And what they've shown on heart monitors is that when we're in the emotions of frustration, anger, worry, fear, panic, our heart has a very irregular beat. We could consider this as something for you to look at, low heart rate variability. What does that mean? Our heart and our nervous system is staying more on the fight or flight sympathetic response for more of the time when we do heart coherent breathing we start to activate the vagus nerve and move the body more into a ventral vagal slash parasympathetic state encouraging it to build that capacity like we would a muscle the more we build that capacity the more heart rate variability we have it means when we engage in stressors in our life throughout the day our nervous system and our vagus nerve has more resilience to adapt to respond and to calm the system down this translates to every system of the body operating more effectively as well as as a human being operating more effectively as well so i imagine this has been of use these are the tips the tricks the scientific understandings that i provide with clients all the time and it really started from one simple premise that is my passion for as many human beings to see in the world. You are not broken. You are not flawed. You are not weak. You are not sick. There is innate well-being that rests deeply inside of you. Your body knows how to be well. Your mind knows how to be well. It's built into you. As I said with this young man, a lot of the time people are like, oh, I need to build confidence. And I say, I want to support your body to reveal the innate confidence that sits and rests inside of you. I want to support you to reveal the innate well-being that rests within your mind and body. Because you are not born with chronic dis-ease or mental illness illness. They are things that start to cloud the system innocently over time when we have a lack of understanding of how to support them to leave. So thank you for watching. Appreciate your time and I look forward to speaking with you all soon.